Hey everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Here we have another Ameritron AL811H. Needs a new set of tubes. It'll be getting a brand new set of Pentalab 572B tubes. As you know, I will not work on one of these unless the person is willing to upgrade to 572s. The customer orders them direct from Penta. They get my dealer price. I make nothing off the tubes. Great customer service over there. Really nice people. So, someone's been in this. Looks like they did the bias mod and they connected it over here. They cut the wire for the center tap and tied it in. So, grids have not been grounded in this one. Grid loading resistor failed down there. You can see where the residue from it failing up against the middle. So, I'll take this all apart. Get the parasitic board over here. The SO239s need to be replaced. Got a PL59. No tension. Nothing. Zero zip. Okay, so we go through the rest of it and make it right. And I will see you guys very soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811H. Here are the old SO239 connectors. The old screw for the base of the plate choke. I always install a longer one. Here's the old safety choke. One of the grid loading resistors had popped near the choke and it left a bunch of carbon on it, so we replaced it. Got the gas discharge tubes, the base of the sockets. Grounded the grids directly to the metal. It's got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. New SO239 connectors, Teflon type. Added the bias diodes. Did not have those. If you do the if you do the mod to ground the grids, sometimes they're in, sometimes they're not. This is an older one. They were not in there. So I clean the relay contacts with deoxy gold. The band switch deoxy gold. Input rotary switch with deoxy gold. And this thing is all set. Also changed the meter protection diode. I was shorted. So that's about it. If you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. 73.